uh, in Seder. And let's see what he has to say. Okay, Matsana, we found. Um, hitherto. So he said two starim ago, this, uh, this Gemara that talks about Torah and Kiddush Hashem as two areas where there ought to be Seder. The Torah is revealing the will of the Almighty. And its study, that purifies a person or elevates, makes a person holy. After uh, study of Torah and fulfillment of Torah, a person needs to sanctify the name of the Almighty in the world. It's not enough to reveal the Almighty's will in the world. In the world. So, not only revealing the, the, the will of the Almighty, but also um, to sanctify the will of the Almighty with Kiddush Hashem. The Chazal did the two, and the Chazal that was quoted uh, two Starim ago, two Vadim ago, uh, they were precise when they said, Sha'olam Kaim Akdusha de Sidra, Vahesh Miraba da Agadata. Hainu Shat, what does that mean? Shatachlas Haikarit, the most important fundamental tachlis is kirish shmo isbarch to sanctify the Almighty's names and so it's found in Tanad Bel Yor Rabba Parak Yerches Lo Nasan Karish Baruch Hu the Almighty did not give Adam Chachma Ubina Dea Vahastel Ela Lekadesh Shmo Hagadol the end game of our spiritual activity is kirish it's Hashem. But how can you how could you be Makadish the Almighty's will if you don't know what the Almighty's will? So thus you have the Torah then Kiddush Hashem. And that's why it's so important to study the laws of Kiddush Hashem. And he brings a quote here from the Rambam. Uh, the midst of Kiddush Hashem, Asher Anachnu Metsuvim Lafarsim Ha'amuna that we are instructed to popularize and disseminate the emuna, hazos hamidias, this true emuna ba'olam, v'shelo nefached, and we should not be fearful, not be scared, v'hezet shumazik, that someone, some in, some some person will injure or damage us, v'afal pishel sheba'alinu machriach, and even if someone uh, comes upon us, someone who's trying to compel us, levakesh menu l'kfoseinu, shelo nishma elav, and even if someone comes and tries to compel you to go against uh, the will of the Almighty, to kind of repudiate the Almighty, Shalom Nishmaelov, don't listen to him. We give up our, we give up our lives to Kedush Hashem, right? We know that's the greatest heroes in, in Jewish history, or the, the martyrs that give their life on Kedush Hashem. Velonita is an important point here. We kind of think of giving up your life to Kedush Hashem as being suboptimal, right? It's mm. what you have to do, but if you can find a way to finagle your way out of it, that would be optimal, right? Look what he says. And we should not try to trick the heathen, the, the aggressor, to think that we rejected God even though we really believe in our hearts. Mm-hmm. So someone says, oh, you know, reject God. She'll say, yeah, I reject God, right? You know, but you're like, you're doing it just to get the guy off your back. That's not what you should do. Hmm. Means it's you're it, it's it's a lechatchila, as they say. Mm-hmm. You know, the Gemara talks about Rabbi Kiva. Well, how did he die? Died right? Mm-hmm. And uh, his students came, and he was saying Shema. The Gemara says that his students asked him, "Why are you saying the Shema now? Like, you know, you're being flayed alive. It's a pretty miserable way to go. Like, why are you thinking of the Shema?" And he says, "Every time I said the Shema, I said the whole nafshcha. You have to love the Almighty with all your heart, with all your soul." What does it mean? It means a filu no tos nafshcha. Even if it takes away your soul. And every day I said, Masai, Yavo Mitzvah, Zul, Yadi Barakai, Meta. When will this Mitzvah come to me and I f- can finally fulfill it? What he's telling us is, is that he was eager to try to fulfill it. And not being able to fill, fulfill it, that was suboptimal. <clears throat> so it was an opportunity he was waiting for. 
So we don't say, oh, someone says, puts a gun to our head and says, you know, repudiate your faith. You say, oh, gosh, this is unfortunate. I really here's wish. my chance. Right. Rather, it, 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 here's your chance. Exactly. That's, that's what you're supposed to say, which is crazy for us to think, right? Yeah. But he, he, uh, he, he uh, essentially asks our question. What does it bother us? What does it matter, you know, ostensibly, if we deceive some drunk guy who's intimidating us? It's not some abstract idea, the, the, the name of the Almighty. Rather, it's mitziyut. It's a real entity. It's reality. The whole in time, everything else that exists only loan and so elema mitas him himats own. Everything that uh, exists only uh, is, is stems from that reality. Umitsi oh, this and this is the was the Kiddush. This is the Kiddush. Umitsiyo Mitsiut Zot and this reality, how is it ever manifest in the world? Mitgale Baolam, that's displayed in the world, rock only Ali Desh on Umotion of Shaybo Baado Isparach. Midas was a big Kiddush. That the only way for us to have a public display of Kvot Shemayim, of Kiddush Hashem, is by giving up a lives for that. So therefore, it is an opportunity, wow. which is a bit Kiddush. Umitziyut Zot, and this reality, and this, so this reality has to be so clear in the world, Ad Shahagoya Acharon, the last guy in the world. He has the, they have to know it via our Messias Nefesh. Now, we're in Seder. Just speaking about, in a sense, like making the whole world Seder as far as knowing. No, 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 no. He's talking about Kirish Hashem. Torah and Kirish Hashem. I said the Seder, though. He said in the beginning. Huh? Yeah, he's going to get to that. Okay. Uh, he's going to say that these parts of our life, these Seders of our life, one for Torah, one for Kirish Hashem, are sacrosanct. Mm hmm. Are so important means that, the, come what may, those cannot be disrupted. That, mm-hmm. That's his point. Mm-hmm. Uh, because essentially, what he's going to say is that our life is really about Torah and English Hashem. That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. Um, everything else is secondary, and therefore, the seder that is non-negotiable, so to speak, is the, these two. That, that's what he's going to say. And do you say in the beginning how we got to Kiddush Hashem? The fact, like, of all the mitzvahs to pick, making Goyim see that we believe in Hashem, that's the one thing, along with Torah, that needs Seder? Huh? Why, why is that? Well, he brought the Gemara that he brought uh, two yeah. weeks, three weeks ago. Okay. The Gemara says that that's where the world sustains itself, on, uh, on, okay. Kiddush, on, the, on the minimal of Kiddush Hashem yeah. and Torah. Okay. Fine. So, now he's going to go a, a, a step further here. Lo die. It's not enough to nefesh lomos al kiddush Hashem. It's not enough to die for kiddush Hashem. Anochu chavim biikar. We have to primarily lichyot al kiddush Hashem to live with kiddush Hashem. Al zeb nuyot halachat chorsh of Israel chil Hashem. On this are built the very severe and strict laws of chil Hashem. Ubefrad and especially tamid chamim for tamid chamim zohi Torah shlima kemavuar behilchus yirat Torah he yiral yoyim chum. If you look at the Rambam and how he organizes his his book Mishnah Torah, so the first section he talks about is the Soda Torah, the foundations of the Torah, and the first four chapters are on theology. What does it mean when we say God? What does that even mean? Like, what's our faith? Mm-hmm. And the next chapter, the next couple of chapters, is Kiddush Hashem. So Kiddush Hashem is of such primary importance. And there he says, like a uh, Tamachacham uh, has to be distinguished, you know. Even though Kiddush Hashem is really about giving up your life to sanctify God's name in the world, right? So if someone says, puts a card to your head and says, uh, eat the cheeseburger, you eat it. Mm-hmm. But if they're doing that to compel people, if it's a time where they're trying to push people away from Judaism, then you don't eat it. And then if mm-hmm. it's in public, you don't, right? You say, shoot, bite the bullet, right? Yeah. Uh, and other examples, like three severe lo- severe cardinal sins, we don't, we don't transgress to save our skin. Right, those, those, those are all, all the classical laws of Kiddush Hashem. And then at the end, he brings uh, all the other laws that are particularly pertinent to someone. You have to behave in a way that's befitting a Jew to behave, and a, a Torah scholar, etc. Okay. Ha-minimum. The minimum. 
shall Torah Kedush Hashem hadarush l'kiyum olam, the minimum of Torah and Kedush Hashem that is needed to uphold and to sustain the world. Matzuch Hazal b'shnei starim hanal. Ach bevadai hu ma'advarim she'en lim shir. Of course, that's the minimum, but Torah and Kedush Hashem, that's everything. And with regard to what we're talking about, again, Seder. Every Seder of our lives has to be directed towards these two principles. The two basic uh, schedules that we have to have. And with prayer. So you say, well, how do I, where, where do I slot in my Kiddush Hashem in my life, right? Mm-hmm. You know, is it walking down Fondren? Is that what mm-hmm. it's about? No, it's, it's about it's about Tfilo. Why? He gives a few examples. This means that someone prayed. So that's Kiddush Hashem. And Zman Torah Luchod, Zman Tfilo Luchod, Right, so those two ought to be separate. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't push the tefillah, the prayer, to a corner. Mirov Say, oh, I'll just learn Torah and, and ignore t- um, mm-hmm. davening. All the Seder of the day has to be directed that the tefillahs will be Established in the proper time, without skipping and without lachtov means to grab and without without rushing. El b'mesinus rather um, patiently, nuchz anefesh calmly. V'hinei amar required. You don't tamid yicholim yicholim chayenu litnehel if you say there. Shikavan lehem. It's not always possible to have uh, everything go as planned. Tom Rabbi said, "Mufrali denim sheiyev shal kosev." Sometimes things that are Impossible to reschedule, they come up. Also, with regards to things that deviate from the Seder Kavua, the normal Seder, we should also have a Seder in that. How do we, what is the methods to deal with the irregularities of the things that just come up? Uh, specifically in the times of chaos, our outlook should always be directed at two, these two principles, Limud Torah and Kiddush Hashem Shalanu, study of Torah and Kiddush Hashem in our behavior. And as per these principles, we will establish our behavior. These things happen every day. We don't know, we can't prepare for it. We have to be prepared every day for the um, happenings that interfere with our normal Seder, that we are prepared and ready to organize ourselves in every instance and every night. We should give ourselves a calculation, an accounting. Im nahagnu az b'seder ra'ul now. If we behaved then with the proper seder, ze doresh simat lev t'midit b'chol yemei chayenu mamish. This demands attention, a constant attention, every day of our lives. Indeed, um, you know my my thought as we're going through seder. Is that it's more than just like to me, like this is calendar. It's like it's so important, mm-hmm. you know, like it's so important to have like a calendar and schedule. It's not about schedule. I think it's about this is the point is that it's a constant awareness. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, you, you know, you know, people do these like 100 day challenges, mm-hmm. you know, trying to do this in 100 days. Mm-hmm. But what's the point of it? Do it, you know, do it in as many days as you need, or right? The point is, is that when you have a, a project, right, when you you know, you're undergoing or embarking on a, you know, a, on a journey and you want to be motivated, you say, okay, I have X amount of time to do it and thus I'm going to focus on it all the time. I think what he's trying to say is this point, is that 
our life, it, it, it's it's really important, you know, mm-hmm. and it's not guaranteed that we're going to be successful. It's not. Yeah. We have to be constantly aware that we are on a mission. And we can't just say, oh, I'm living life. And, well, you know, whenever I want to work on something, work on something. No. Like, your whole life you're working on something. You're on this 100-day challenge. It's not a 100-day challenge. It's a 70-year, 80-year challenge. But that's what it is. You know, mm-hmm. you're constantly aware and constantly engaged. And you're, uh, you're mindful of, of your living. That's, and, and that, whoa, like, if you could be mindful of living... Yeah. And what that actually means, how valuable would that be? Yeah. To be aware, to be constantly aware of, of the stakes of our lives. There's no empty space. Yeah, wouldn't that be space. wonderful? <laughs> if we could do that. Well, if you have the Seder and you're constantly aware, constantly monitoring, you're giving yourself an accounting, well, then you're there. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's, what, that's, my, that's my takeaway from, uh, from this. And I think we can finish. It. I think we can finish it. Let's let's finish it. Okay. Because it's it's to me it's depressing, you know. I feel like oh, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm, so I'm so far from this. Um, what do you guys say? Should we should we wait till next week? I want to yeah. finish. Okay. Finish. Okay. Admor nishmato Aden. Admor stands for Adenim Avenu, which is a term that he always gave for his Rebbe, Abiruchim. Nun Ayin is like an esoteric way of saying. Like the Chol Levacha, all of Hashem, the Zechus Hashem Levacha. Nun Eden means Nishmaso Eden. His, his soul is in Gan Eden. Oh. Yeah. He Amar b'Shiru Hachumish Shalom. He said in his Shir Chumish, Rabbi Rucham, in 1934, did something remarkable. He started giving a Chumish here every week, and he only invited the the out of towners. So like in. Yeshiva in Poland, there was a local, like, Poli- Polish and Lithuanian Jews. Mm-hmm. Then there, was a, like, there were some students from America, some students from Germany, from Austria, from all over uh, the mm-hmm. place that were kind of like, you know, the, you know, these were foreigners. So, like, it's kind of like if you have, like, the French guy in Yeshiva, you know, like, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, or the American guy in the Israeli Yeshiva, you know. <laughs> so, um, so he would give the Chumash here. And these, we have the wonderful books of Yerucham, the, 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 the Amazing storm called Das Torah. Uh, these black black storms are unbelievable, mm. and it's essentially the collection of the shir he gave a chumash for those two years. Uh, incidentally, my grandfather arrived in yeshiva in 1934 as well. He died in 1936. Ruchim died very young. Wow. Six, he was 61 when he died, and he died suddenly. He's only big mystery. Huh? By, he's only learning about him for two years. Yeah. Well, wow. pretty crazy. Uh, okay, so what did he say? When they reach the parsha of Yufas Tor, Yufas Tor is the beautiful uh, captive hostage that you take captive in Kiseitze. So what did he say as follows? Kan Kava HaTorah. Here, the Torah established. This is in Deuteronomy uh, 25, I think. Kiseitze. Shehadam Tzarich L'Sadaret Hatzmo Afilu Peshas Yiyush. Hmm. Even at the time of Yish, you're giving up. I feel a chair of Chadim and Achas Azavar Al Yitia Esh Atzmo. Even if there's a sharp sword which is placed upon your neck, don't give up even then. But Tarich Azavar Atzmo, you don't. We don't lose ourselves even in times of tremendous crisis. But Tarich Azavar Atzmo, the Fi Hamatzav, and you have to be organized and, and methodical and written, prepared as per the situation. Davar gadol gila admor bezeh. The admor, Rabbi Rucham, he reveals something very important. Ein matzav ba'olam she'ein adam yechol v'chayav azder atzmo. There's there's no situation in the world that a person is incapable or not obligated to be organized, to be cognizant, to be aware, to be mindful. O mesudar o miyuash. Either you organize, you're aware, you're mindful, or you're done. It means you're you're your lost cause. Afilu bihidia ha'adam lezibula basraisa to the end, the end game, right? Someone's about to die. Lamachala anusha to a really terrible disease. Loshas nisa. Someone's about to die. Hutzarich leit lamed lasederetz. We won't lose ourselves even then. Hein avodah gadola hizu ketzal yitayel mamchala. 
Indeed, it's a very big avoda how to, to behave in illness, how to suffer, and how to die. The low le'abed eshtanot, tav, not to lose your, your senses or your uh, your calm, b'shat b'shumikre rachmanos on any uh, tragic scenario that may come. Hare, haTorah hiratalanu derech chesan litnei afil b'shat shetrefa alav ta'avato. That even in a time where uh, where someone's uh, where someone's desires are raging. Torah guides us how to behave in the parsha of Fast Torah. And in course the Gemara, what says in Kedushin? Mutav she yochal basar timusa shchutos bol yochal basar timusa snevelos. The Gemara says here that it's better for someone to eat uh, non-kosher but slaughtered meat we go. That it's better for someone it means it's better it's better to mitigate the sin. You know, even though it's a sin, let's li- li- let's let's try to limit it. But Makom Acher Basefer in a different place in this in this book, Hiveno Memor Shel Hagoyin Rabbi Yitzchak Petterberger. This is one of the great, the great students of Rabbi Yisrael Salanter. There's, 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 let's say someone's going to sin, right? Mm-hmm. So you're in the throes of sin. Do you lose yourself then? You're going to sin. That's established. It's been established. What about then? Could you have Seder then? Like mitigate, the same sense, right? Mitigate so you're saying sin. mitigate your sin. So the, and, he, and, and he quotes... Uh, Rabitzel Petterberger as uh, saying that there's a be- big difference between someone who's like, you know, who's upset or who's sad in the time of sin versus someone who does it, you know, without even thinking about it. Even the small difference, that changes a lot as regards to the retribution uh, and accounting for such behavior. So, three examples. The the um, attack of the Yetzer, the Yetzer Machala, or illness, or Misa, even death. Heinam Mikrim Kitsonim. These are, of course, uh, extreme examples, Legabe Avodat HaSeder, with regards to Seder. Ach Ka'asher Nashtif Al Chayenu Yom Yom. When we, we look over our life, uh, day to day life, Bahashka Fakala. We will indeed necessarily see Lirot. He call your mamash every day. We lose our composure every day. Some, something happens that we lose our composure. We can horrify it, and in the batting of an eye, anu we start we start sliding and talking midot raot, and uh, and uh, bad behavior. Rachman Watson. Umamash beli may seem without being aware and achnu mabdim et hatsura hanoshik shalom. We lose our humanity. Ezim et rebbe rochov, ezim atzav matuach babayit. Some something happened in the street or something, some sort of tension in the house. Kvar masitam matzav aseder regil. It already removes us from our from our equilibrium. Vakamalin lasim libeinu lekach. And how much must we be aware? We should remember right away that we should organize and be be measured. Um, this was a big idea for the Bali Musa, this whole idea of of not being random, of not of not like you know, not of being like mindful of everything. You know, they used to say about about the altar of Kelm, who was the Rebbe of the Alter of Slobodka was one of the students of Rebbe, Rebbe, Rebbe Stroll. He never moved his eyeballs. He never moved his eyeballs. 
He wanted to move. He wanted to look to the side. He would move his whole head. Mm. You know, and he, and he was like they had such control and everything was so measured. Like they, he would have eight hours, two eight hour seders of study that he would mm. do standing. <laughs> standing. Standing. He reads the doors. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and my grandpa said, in, and every Shmona Esther took an hour, mm. and he looked an hour in Musa. So that's, that's a, he didn't sleep much. That's yeah, he said he used to sleep like this when we were growing, like, yeah. like four half hours. But these, you know, that that was oh, hi. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the that's the nida of. You know, it was, it was always always being. You see the Bali Musa; they always hold their heads like this. You notice that? Yeah. Always yeah, like this, because because uh, why would they move it? You know, they walk like this with their hands. And when they need it, they let go. Yeah, when they need to do it. Every action that you need to do, you do. Otherwise, you know, we're like, you know, we're like, you know what we're like? We don't like to have that thing across the street where they sell insurance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that little balloon. That's what we're like. You know, yeah. we're just flying everywhere. Like, nothing, nothing yeah. is, is, is calculated. Yeah. It comes down to the difference, like you said earlier, that at least the, the first part of this, I was looking at it as a Google calendar. You know, have a, this time I'm going to do this, time I'm going to do this. And there's gaps in between to get to the gym, to get to here, whatever. But really, like you're saying, it, all of life is the calendar, <laughs> you know? And there's not free time. Every moment should be something planned and something that you're doing on purpose. Um, it's a whole different way of looking at it, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I said the story, but Rigda Miller, I think I've said it here, that when um, they asked him what to do if he knew you were going to die tomorrow night. Mm. Said that? He did say yeah. it. I love that. I think it's a great example. Yeah, it would change one thing. <laughs> Nothing, because he's, he's living his life with his 100-year challenge, right? That's what yeah. he's really doing. <laughs> But which I don't know if this is true, but like it seems like since this is already bad, Hamishi and Shishi, that it's like it leads to there. Like we have to start with oh, the yeah. Rishon Chini, like that. Yeah. It's like the baby steps. Like we have to first be able to schedule our day until we get to like this level that like we have the bigger picture in mind. Well, you're already on Shishi with everyone else. <laughs> How was I? <laughs> but is that kind of like? I would agree for sure. Yeah. Okay, I hope well, so, he, he's <laughs> essentially saying now that we should never. You know what they say about these uh, these actors that they 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 keep on in character. in character. That's right. So we have to always never never lose character. I read us. Um, they talk about these these people that are dedicated to their roles. You know, mm-hmm. I read once that one of these actors he was playing a guy who was in a wheelchair. Used to get a wheelchair for months, <laughs> you know. Uh, that's the dedication that people show to their roles, right? So, like, we have a role as well, right? And what's our role? Our role is that everything that we do should be in the Hashem. Everything we should do should be Torah. Everything we should do should be a mitzvah. Okay, then we should never break character. Mm-hmm. But it's not a character that we're playing; it's who we are, yeah, actually. Yeah. The the Bali Musr, you know, when they would never re- they would never react. I mean, if they would react, they would decide to react. But you know, like, um, you know, like if someone bumps into you, you're like, "Whoa, dude, what was that from?" Right? Yeah. Uh, none of that. Like, if you would like bump into Bali Musr, the Bali Musr, they wouldn't even turn around. Like, they wouldn't flinch. Yeah. Because they only turn around if they need to turn around. You know, if they made a decision that's the right thing to turn around. <laughs> you know, Rav Leichter says a story that he was once late for the, you know, Leichter is right. Yeah, for him. He's one of my grand my grandfather's told me he didn't very actual. Uh, he's he's like a he's a he's a Swiss. He moved to Israel. And he's a very close to my grandfather, but he's a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of energy. <laughs> and he was once late for uh for uh, for one of my grandfather's schmooze in the in the base of Musser. So he was running, you know, he's running. And he gets there and he slams the door open right into my grandfather's back. <laughs> like, can you imagine how he felt, right? And he said he didn't flinch for a second and just walked, never turned around and nothing. That's just the way they were. You know, that, that's an example of always being, having Seder. It's always being aware. It's always being mindful of what's going on. Yeah. Everything's calculated. Mm-hmm. And the Seder about, uh, about, um, about the altar of Calvary, mm-hmm. he was something else. He had 30-year-old uh, clothing a suit that was 30 years old that looked exactly new. The my grandfather said. It looked exactly new. Why? Because he would never move. He, he was like <laughs> stiff on the shelf. Like, what would happen if he's he left a mannequin? It? Yeah, he was like a mannequin. That's right. <laughs> you know, he wouldn't move. And therefore, it would just never, like, it would never crease against each yeah. other. It would never, 
you know, or whatever brush up against anything else. And it would look, it was 30 years old and looked like, the, you know, the day it was bought off the shelf. Pretty incredible. Let's, uh, Let's uh, let's finish up over here. Mikol Amur, from all that we have said, on the Lamdim Kiseder, Tzarech Liot Ma'ala Atzmit Ba'adam. It's a central character in some which Eino Ozevet Olam doesn't doesn't abandon it for a second. Ila Zot, if so, Ma Rabba Lada Hazot Leitametz Besharit Kochenu Leknot Ma'ala Zulat Misudar to be organized. Ma Nefalim Advarim Ki Avdel Ben Iseder Ben Seder Uki Avdel Bechoshek Laor Im Yishtam Tafimu Ufa. Very, very fascinating. Wow, I wonder if 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 Seder is kind of it's the second to last of yeah. the mo- of of I had, it maybe. But he writes that it's not necessarily in order. It's a lot of growth. Well, but started, that's you know, it seems like it's. <laughs> we started with set a set time for your learning. Yeah. And now it's like your whole life needs to be a Seder. Oh yeah, <laughs> never ever 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 yeah. lose character. Pretty interesting. Okay. Um, Wow. Yeah, this is an uphill battle. I think we might have to revisit this at one point. Yeah.